the guru said like a lot of those points in there, you know, how do you talk to the artist and just reading the room. Um, I think a lot of times, you know, when I start off, you know, as just playing the engineer role, um, I think in today's day, you know, there's so many schools now that are just pushing out engineers. You know, you go to school for six months and next thing you know, you're an engineer after six months. So a lot of times when these artists are booking the sessions, unfortunately, they're really just expecting me to be quiet and press the buttons. So in my mind, one, that's what I need to do, but I also need to make sure that I do that better than anyone else they've ever seen. So that when I do open my mouth and, you know, like we were saying, it's how you say it to people. I'm not gonna say to somebody, you can do that better. So I might say, hey, do you think you can do that better? And they might go, yeah, yeah, I think I can do that better. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And then they're hyped up because they're thinking, oh man, he's really listening to me. He thinks I can do better. Let's push this even further. And it's really building that relationship with the artist that you're working with. And some of these artists, you know, they may not want your input and it's nothing personal. I mean, you have a role that you're playing in that studio or wherever you are at. And you gotta remember that sometimes you just need to play that role. You know, with somebody like me, you know, where I focus mainly on engineering, a lot of times there's another producer and there are multiple producers. And when they're making a beat, a lot of times it's not my spot to go, hey, change that 808, change this sound, change that sound. Cause they're gonna look at me and go, you know, it's your, you know, it's your turn when we pass you the beat and you turn on the microphone, that's when you go to work. Mm -hmm. So it's really just reading the room, knowing who you're with and you know, speaking up and knowing how you're saying things to people because this is people's art. You know, it's our production, it's our engineering, it's the artist's lyrics, it's the artist's music. So you know, we do take these things personally. So just watch how you're saying things there. I think to add on to what Jeff is saying, and the way you said that is perfect, phrasing things in a question alleviates a lot of problems. Like if you're saying a definitive thing, Sometimes you may just want to ask it in a phrase it in a question. Or um, there's a very famous engineer who has like this big Mickey Mouse in um, the side of the studio, and that Mickey Mouse is there to remind you of uh, questions or fantasy, right? That's what the that's what the paper plane represents for us at Rock Nation, right? Imagination. That paper plane is you folding a piece of paper and imagining you know this being a plane. So I'm saying that to say that we instead of you going yo. We should use this microphone. It's like, what if we use this sort of microphone? Or what if we tried a different 808? Or what if we tried it this way? Works better than all these like definitive, like you did that wrong, let's do it over. You know, and and, and phrasing it in a, in a thing of, well, let's try this. Because that's that, you know, you never know what could happen when you're just like, that's the creativity part, let's try this. And, and what just said is perfect. It's like sometimes, you have artists that they know exactly what they want to do. They're very well trained. They have this thing that they're doing and you're just quiet and, and, and you're recording and that's all you're there for. There's some artists that have never been in a studio before. It's just, you know, some girl that sings really good in church and, and she's never, you know, she, she's in her comfort zone. But some people, when they see that red light come on, you know, in the studio, they get nervous. So you may have to be the person that says, OK, um, can everybody clear the room so this person can feel more comfortable? Or, you know, put, instead of instead of asking that question in front of this rapper's whole crew, say, yo, can I talk to you in the hallway real quick? And then they're going to be more apt to give you a real answer instead of trying to keep the, you know, the, this, this bravado up in front of their crew. So you got to be, real, like you said, read the room, be real aware of what's going on and who's in the actual room. So those things are talents that they don't teach in the school, right? The school is the school is there for you to learn how to like move the chess pieces, but that doesn't mean that you're a master chess player. You just know how to move the pieces. Now somebody got to teach you strategy of chess, you know, and hopefully that person has played a lot of chess and has gone up against masters and has been in situations before and they're like, yo, when somebody moves the rook this way, look out for this. So that's that's what kind of I can equate it to. When you when you graduate from the engineering school, you're basically just now you just know how to move the pieces. But I got to teach you the, the, the psychology of actually running a session and getting the best performance out of the artist. 